<laughs> no, don't fall. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Welcome back to a new video. <laughs> Hello, gamers. Um, this video is trying really hard to be a Halloween episode. It's really just another undercover. But basically, I was able to keep my Karen account from last time. I know Facebook disabled it, and then they gave it back to me for some reason. They asked me for like the a picture test to send a picture of myself so that I could get the account back. And I sent them the same picture of Karen that's on the profile, and they accepted it. That was it. <laughs> and I didn't think that would work, but it totally did. Did. So I got the account back and like it's here to stay. It looks totally fine I even changed her profile picture I put like a voting thing on it to be like, you know, because everyone's talking about voting So I was like, yeah, Karen Karen cares about that. You know, she knows how to vote apparently and you know She still works at HR HR at HR. I had to fill out her profile a bit more so I put that she was born in Buffalo, but she's from London. Ooh, wow, London. Uh, she's divorced. I even put the, the dumb name pronunciation that I see on everybody's Facebook. I think it's so stupid, but I put it on hers just to like blend in. So Karen is here to stay, thank God. So I wanted to get into another Facebook group again like I did before. This one was a private group, it was called Mommy Advice, and it's just with other moms and they can talk about kids or I don't know, whatever moms talk about. And so I finally got in, I had to do like a membership thing. Are you a mother of a child, stepchild, angel baby, or soon to be mommy? Yes, I have two handsome little boys named Aiden and Graydon. This is a place to talk about our children and ask questions. Do you understand? Yes, I do. This is a no judgment place. We are here to support other mothers. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Boom, that's all it takes, dude. That's all it takes. You know, I've been using this Karen picture for a while now, and no one has pointed out that it looks like there's a Shrek ear on the in, on like the side of the picture. Like if someone's like sitting next to her and they have like Shrek's ear. But anyways, I got into the group. It was super cool. There were some great posts, honestly. I had a good time. This one just happened today, actually, here. Kaylee made a poll. It says, I can't decide how I want to spell my daughter's name. All the grandbabies have a Y in their name, but IDK if I like it like that. And it's just a million different ways to spell Bailey. When I saw this dude, I thought this was f***ing hilarious. There's Bailey, 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 and Baylea. And then just another option of all of them, I guess? Personally, I voted for Bailey because one of my friend's names is Bailey. Ah, oh, God, when I saw this, I thought it was f hilarious. You would only find this on a mom page, first of all. So, you know, I voted for Bailey. And then, personally, I would do Bailey, but okay. So, you know, Karen has her own opinion always. That one's like a perfect representation of a mom Facebook group. A million dumb little ways to spell Bailey. God, perfect. I'm in the right place. This one I didn't even comment on because this lady made the perfect comment. My three-year-old keeps unbuckling his car seat mid-drive. Anyone here bought an anti-escape clip from Amazon that you are happy with? Please include Amazon links, thanks. I didn't comment on this one. I feel like I couldn't beat Jamie's comment. I- this was insane to me. Jamie said, my son was doing this until I had him watch with me videos of car accidents. I explained to him that cars get in accidents all the time and they are never planned. We could be driving to grandma and papa's house and someone could possibly hit us. And if they do and you're not in your car seat properly, you could get really hurt. Jamie, you made your kid watch car crash videos? What? Oh my god, that... <laughs> That sounds like a meme. That sounds like a joke, dude. I could not beat that. I can't beat that. How do you beat making your kid watch car crashes? Can you imagine? That poor little kid. Jamie, God, you don't want to mess with Jamie, dude. <laughs> She'll mentally torture your children. Oh my God. How many months does CPS have if there was a case filed on you? Hmm, I don't know. That's a very, why would you ask that, D? Hmm. Hmm. Everyone's like, oh, six months, blah, blah, blah. And Karen said, none if you move away and change your name. Let's just say that Whipperduff isn't my only last name. And it won't be my last. I feel like the absolute worst mom in the world. My daughter was in her high chair next to me. I looked away for a minute to help my son with his distance learning. <laughs> and she fell out of her high chair. She is eight months old. <laughs> 
She cried for a bit. No bumper redness. I checked her pupils and all that. I feel so beyond bad right now. Should I bring her to ER if she is acting normal? <laughs> Girl, don't worry about it. It's the kid's fault for falling off the chair. My oldest has tumbled off the couch, high chair, the car roof, the jungle gym, the house roof, the kitchen counter, and he's just fine. Graydon's fine. You know, a little brain damage never hurt anybody. I mean, sure, he doesn't really have good depth perception, and he doesn't really react very fast when stuff's flying at him, but you know, I mean, come on, that's every kid, right? See, I decided I wanted to make my own post. This is me reaching to make this a Halloween-themed video. Karen is feeling silly, and I was a new member too when I made this. Hey girls, it's so nice to be on a page with other mamas! So here's my question. How do I get my kids to let me eat their Halloween candy? <laughs> I'm letting my kids go trick-or-treating this year, but I want to eat their candy. What do I tell them? I know it's a silly question, but I can't help it. <laughs> See, you have to you have to add the silly question and the laughing emoji so no one suspects anything. And then Erica said, eat it when they're sleeping. That's genius. That's the easy approach though, I'd say. My mom would make us pay tax. She honestly liked most of what we didn't, so it worked out fine. Now that is a smart mama. I just ask them for some and they share it with me, but they aren't so generous with their dad. <laughs> he calls it the daddy tax. <laughs> I guess having all boys comes in handy when they are closer to their mama. I love how real this is. Ask them, lol. I should just ask them, Kayla, you're right. I hope I can figure out something with my kids too. You know, personally, I'm a Skittles man. I mean, Skittles woman. I think Aiden's gonna go hungry Halloween night. I'm just saying, you know, if he gets a bunch of nerds, bunch of Skittles, bro, I'm sorry, y'all are gonna starve. This post was hilarious, man. This one got me. Do you guys think it would hurt a one-year-old if I took him to a monster truck show? Please no hate. <laughs> it's a yes or no question. Please no hate. Guys, I just want to see a monster truck show, and I don't want to pay for a babysitter. My littlest, he loves monster trucks. What am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to say no? I'm supposed to go without him? Look, Sean is like, I've taken my kiddos. We didn't use ear protection because honestly, I didn't think of it. What? <laughs> you just took your kids to a monster truck show? Yeah, Abby's like, go for it. You can buy noise canceling headphones. Karen is like, my littlest loves monster truck shows. Make sure to get a seat close to the front so you can get some mud splashed on you. Karen knows, Karen's in it, bro. Nothing like a monster truck show, am I right? Am I right? We didn't use ear protection because I honestly didn't think of it. Jesus, Shauna. My God. The best jokes write themselves. This is a good one. I actually got a lady to like get kind of uppity with me. Check it out. Hi, new here. I'm at my wits end and ready to lose my <laughs> My oldest daughter is six and she is just so stubborn and disrespectful. She purposefully tells my two and a half year old to do things in order to get her in trouble. She refuses to share, she doesn't listen, and she's teaching her sister bad habits. I have tried damn near everything I can think of and nothing works. Help me, please. <laughs> See, I said, here's what you gotta do. Just give that little booger eater a good smack whenever she starts catching an attitude. You can just use your hand, your shoe, or your belt. Personally, I prefer to use my ex's old brass knuckles that he left. I started doing that with my little diaper filler, and I haven't heard a peep since. Be strong, girl. Be strong, literally. You just gotta, sometimes, you know, kid just needs a little, a little, you know, just to, just, you know, to remind him who the adult is, you know? You're two years old. I mean, come on. What? You don't even know how to f use the toilet yet, okay? Come on, listen to me, listen to your mama. So I posted this and then this lady comes up and she's like joking about child abuse is hilarious and then posted a gif at me using a gif on me and I was like, what? Excuse me? You're accusing me of child abuse? What, do you think I'm lying? Do you think I'm not a mom of two divorced in her 40s? who works at HR assistant at HR? Come on, what, child abuse? Real child abuse is making your kid watch an Adam Sandler movie. Oh! She probably won't get that. Says the one who names their kid Aiden and Graydon. Jesus, I think I lost to this Facebook mom. She kind of blew me out of the water. I don't know what to say. I'm not gonna attack her kids. I mean, personally, I wouldn't sink that low. I wanted to keep my cover, guys, okay? That's why I chickened out of fighting a mom on Facebook, okay? Please don't be mad. Please don't call me a wimp. 
Yeah, I think that's it for now. That was a really good one, actually. I didn't expect it to turn out that good. Karen still lives. My profile's still good, so we can use it again. This undercover mission was a success, okay? It was pretty freaking good, I'd have to say. My post got good attention. I got accused of child abuse. That was great. That was a good time. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. Join the channel, I guess. I haven't even launched that yet. Um, but yeah, see you later.